We need more berries. Oh, jeez. Those are a little bit harder on my berry uh, supply than I thought they were. Oh, well. Restarting from the beginning would mean you have a better layout. You're not wrong about that. There would be benefits. It'd still suck. Boots. Movement speed increased by 25%. 10% chance to dodge attacks. Nice. Okay, so metal boots requires leather, leather, and nightshade. Wow, that attack speed bonus is uh, considerable. I should have uh, maybe beelined for these sooner. I, starting over wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, it'd be annoying. It'd be something that I'd do at a later date when I feel up for it again. That's for certain. Stay the hell away from anything that can kill me. Dying right now would would suck. Okay, there's there's one. I don't know if we have more skeletons. I hope not. That'd be bad. It'd be kind of neat if there's like a, a progression system between runs, you know, increases your, uh, increases your like... I, nope. No idea how to actually gather those. And there are a couple of bones leaves over there, but not, not many. Perfect. He was on his way. Alright, do I have anything else? Nope. Alright, got a ton of leather. Alright, so at the very least we can get the metal boots. Oh, hit the mushrooms in order of the rainbow. Oh. I didn't even think about that. Alright. Red. Orange. Yellow, green, blue. All right, free chests. I didn't even think about that. I Mushrooms used to be a resource you could gather, so I was just assuming it was going to be the same. All right, can I just make a key? Perfect. Wish there was a more reliable source of sand in this game. Didn't work. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to make health potions. Yeah, I might be able to grab this fairy. Wait, yes, there we go. Okay. Then I'm gonna only grab fairies when I'm down to one HP for the future. Try the scroll on Bone Island. I gotta, I gotta get to Bone Island and live first. I was hoping to upgrade my pickaxe and some of my other equipment first. Food is health potions if you if you cook it. Oh, okay. I guess we'll start uh, crafting some mad. Uh, we'll start crafting some mad uh, sushi then. Uh, let's see. Alright, there we go. Metal boots! Okay, 45% movement speed increase. Damn, master boots. Can't do that. And we gotta go get the nightshade on the other side. Alright. Inventory is full. Of course. Let's see, how much... How much of this can I make? Whole bunch. Still 
still haven't figured out where to cook meat, actually. Uh, let's see. Craft all. Craft half. Yeah, coal. Coal is kind of brutal in this game. It'd be nice if there was just a little bit more. Like if it was a one-to-one -one or something on the, uh, on the wood-to-coal ratio. Now I should be able to just... Let's see if I can make sushi from here. I can. Oh, okay, I love that. Yeah, so we'll just make a, a bunch of these. Let's see. Anything else? I mean, tons of wood. One of these guys. A lot of iron. Which I think we had run out for a little while. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep doing my rounds for a little while. Wait until we get enough steel. Oh, right. I made a key. Do I have it? Yes, I do have the key. Alright. What did we get? What is this? Top hat. Coins are worth 50% more. Aw, oh, damn. That's... That's some sweet business. Okay, so we still need a lot more steel and a lot more... Sand. I could go just back to digging everything up. I don't know of any more reliable means of getting sand. You really think sand would be a, a much more reliable drop in the uh, in the desert? It kind of surprisingly isn't. Tons of iron. We've got tons of resources. It's just a matter of kind of like the time it takes to harvest them all is uh considerable. Right, there we go. So that's that's pretty much as much as I can milk out of this place. There's the Chargosaurus. <laughs> Maybe that's the farting noise you guys were hearing and asking about, now that I'm thinking about it. I kind of wish you get, uh... more resources than just bone from digging at those holes. Like, sand being a reliable resource from that would be kind of nice. I guess it's supposed to just kind of spawn from your, uh, fish traps. Okay, uh, let's see. So we need to... We actually don't need that much more. One more sand. There we go. And that'll be the last of, uh, the last of the glass. And after that, it's just as much steel as I can grab. Yeah, what time are we looking at? Eh... Yeah. I'll probably do this for the entirety of this section. Okay. Can't do that. Still need the nightshade. And this has restocked. So we can buy some more druid scrolls. Yes. Mayo and bottled butterfly. No. Eventually I'll be able to sell those, but eh, later. Okay. Ah! 
one got free. Then again, I think I think we only have to deal with one of the one of the actually big guys coming my way. I hope. Cause he was he was definitively like dangerous. Everybody else was like manageable. Should probably uh make a vault specifically for rocks, coal, and gold and stuff. Cause I'm always gonna have those in my inventory, but I'm never immediately going to need them on hand. Later, iron ingots. Keep making that. We need five more. Okay, four more steel. And never, and never ever, ever, ever sell steel. But next time, next time I play this, absolutely rushing storage first. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to think about, like, leveling and stuff. Like, which ones I want to actually prioritize. The, the fairy is in the way. Because I definitely, I definitely didn't pick the most useful of the, of the perks. I picked some. The extra coinage one is actually both amazingly helpful and less. It's useful for, like, to bomb rush really early on. But I barely buy islands, and I'm not entirely sure if it's... N I think you have to get it anyway, but, um... Yeah, you have to get that one. It's just if we're limited to 12 islands in the beta, it's just like, man, what's the, what's the point of being wealthy? I need other stuff. So I need Nightshade. I can actually get that pretty quick. If I just guts up. Well, the nightshade has, uh... Has disappeared. Okay, so there's, there's the steel that we need. Just make some brick. Maybe not that. And our inventory is pretty full. We could sell these gems. Oh, let's let's just keep making sushi. Cause I don't need I don't need those right now. Okay. So there's the there's the last of the steel that we need, so we can make the uh we can make the better pick. That's good. Now, unfortunately, I'm like just feeling a bit, bit squeezed right now. For resources, can't really fit anything else in. I guess let's let's just make all of the uh, all of a bunch of that. All right. So that's dropped off. That clears up my inventory considerably. Let's go let's go check out Evil Island. I'm sorry, kinda glitchy weirdo island. Okay, so that's that's just a rock. Okay. Jam up some berries. And then, yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll use one of the druid, we'll use one of the, uh, the druid scrolls on this. Okay, so we got money. That's neat. I don't think I'm gonna spend any more time in this zone than I have to, though. I don't know if the skeletons regularly spawn, or if they just spawned that one singular time. I'd love it if they actually had, like, little instance dungeons that you could go into. Like, you could plonk down, like, a dungeon entrance and, like, go into a thematic dungeon for each zone. That'd be cool.
Okay, so we do have we do have some nightshade here. If I remember right, we needed a decent amount to actually get what we need. Now, pumpkins are great for energy. Holy shit. I will keep that in mind. Eat pumpkins. We'll keep you going. Not a whole lot of iron here, but that's okay. Let's just eat several pumpkins. I'm sure there's actual food that I could make. Each zone has a dungeon. Okay. Can we go to it yet, though? Because, like, if I'm limited to 12 islands, I assume I can't, like, sell an island back. Because if I could sell an island back, that would make my life a lot easier. Because then I wouldn't have to... Then I wouldn't have to worry about, uh... The limitations. Or, you know, if there was just was no cap for this. I don't know. Still a bit peeved on the idea of being limited in such a way. Okay, there's an anchor. Interesting. Okay, you still haven't restocked and you won't for a little while. Okay, iron ingots. Let's keep that going. And we have got the fiery pickaxe. Damage increased by 225%. Attacks burn resources. That sounds wrong, but whatever. Okay, so still can't make like 90% of these, but I should be able to just chew through resources pretty quick. Relatively. Okay, so metal gloves need some steel. Yeah, let's let's go, let's get that steel. I need gold ingots. We just leveled up. So what can we get? Smelting would be kind of nice. But I think we want to get craftsmanship next. Either that or novice... Uh... I gotta go for craftsmanship next. Because we need royal steel and clothing. Okay, so physics, power plants, automation, mining rods, crafted items collect themselves. Okay. Well, that'll be helpful. Let's see. Yeah, note to self, don't alt tab much in this game. Don't like it. So we want to do, do we even do what we want to do? Other thing to check, big wallet. We can just make the big wallet. So let's start with that. I wonder if I can actually make multiple merchant stalls. Oh, does anybody know? Is, if you have multiple merchant stalls, does it, does it actually get you um different resources? What's this, an anchor? Oh, it's worth 200. I'm assuming it's just a cash crop. Well, not exactly cash crop, but still. Its existence is entirely there to just make you cash. Okay, so they're all random. So we're probably gonna wanna uh, convert one of these islands into a, a merchant haven. Let's see. Wonder if you hit the island cap yet. Nope, I haven't yet. We're getting there. Nope, can't make that yet. Let's see. If steel wasn't so expensive, I'd, uh... I'd be, uh, making some serious headway here. I'm afraid the natural resource exploitation is still going rampant. Could you bring me some tree saplings so I can make sure the forest is safe? 
30. Okay, sure. Oh, that guy's probably just gonna dump scrolls on us every time we do one of these. All right, we got the big wallet. Coins are worth double. All right, huge wallet, can't do that. Big backpack. Thread royal clothing. Royal clothing. Oi, okay. Yeah, that's a lot. We need an amethyst. And that's just gain from random rocks. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Or keep that in mind. Yeah, never never sell gemstones. I was right about that. Well, we do need to go on one hell of a mining spree anyway. Because we need to get our hands on, um... I mean, as much steel as we can. Because I effectively want to offload my entire inventory off into being, uh... I want to offload my entire inventory into, uh, into vaults. And then get a bunch of merchants so I can actually, you know, reasonably purchase stuff. Probably also look into, uh... Getting that perk that makes it so we get extra ore, ore drops from these. But, man, do we not have enough skill points for that. We'll get there eventually, it's just time consuming. Okay, uh, is anything... So the, the Skele men do not respawn over here. Or if they do, it's rare. Good. I was a little bit worried that we get, uh... We just get slamma jammed by an infinite number of those, like, big skeletons. Because I opened up that, that island over there. And that... That didn't sound like an attractive prospect to me. Uh, let's go. We're almost done. I'm just gonna finish mining these and we'll go, uh... We'll go work on the saplings for this dude. Because one thing is, if I could get a mining scroll, because I know that's a thing, uh, we might be able to actually, you know, plonk him down somewhere and go, go nuts. Okay, uh, we need some leather. Yeah, I'll just start with the leather now. We'll need the, we'll need the thread too, but... Okay. Well, we've got a, a reasonably uh, commanding... I'm not going to say lead, but we are... Uh, we're able to chew through most resources in a matter of hits. Which is a marked difference compared to what we originally had. Uh-oh. Shouldn't do that. Should not do that. Oh, uh, let's see. Can I... Aha! Eating sushi does heal you now. Good. Or now? After all. Here, we might also want to look into farming so I can get uh, certain resources a little bit more reliably. <sighs> I don't even have the space for it. I mean, I do. Okay, so we want to do tree saplings, which is citrus. Okay, gotta stop eating citrus then. And he needs 30. Oh, boy. Time to start collecting citrus. En masse. Forever. And then, yeah, maybe we should get some market stalls up here. Just so I have a, uh... A reasonable distribution of... Potential... Uh things that I could buy at any point in time. Because, yeah, I'm certainly not really making a whole lot of money right now. But I also don't have a whole lot to spend it on, because this this market stall is, uh, uh, useless. I was hoping the saplings wouldn't require citrus. I mean, it makes sense, but it'd be kind of neat if I could do other things. Do the turnip people have any quests? Nope. They just say very nice things to you. 
which is, I mean, kind of appreciated, but also kind of useless. There might be... They might actually have something. Uh, but I did kill one of them. Unless it's one of those where we actually have to kill all of them to actually unlock what the, the turnip people probably do. Okay. We should probably get back to actually uh, chucking these things in furnaces. I think I've got more than enough uh, iron and gold stocked. Oh, okay, this is not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. It looks like it's a... Uh, a better ratio than I, uh, than I was expecting. Yeah, all right, that's gonna be, that's gonna be much easier. Okay, all of the iron ingots. All that gold. All that, that's not much steel. Oh. Steel why are you so expensive? Straight up like four iron and gold per steel bar. That is punishing. It's not like insurmountable, but it's definitely like uh, a little bit harder on my resources than I'd I'd like. I think I'm going to beeline for automation next, see if I can actually make something of that, or find out that it's, uh, you know, impossible. Okay, so we just need two steel. Well, there's there's the two steel. Let's, let's get these metal gloves on the way. Because that should increase my uh, hit speed even further. And at this point, we want to be... We want to be plowing through resources as fast as we, we possibly can. Because otherwise, we're just never... We're never gonna get anywhere. Because we're not gonna die. I was... It was a little dodgy around the, the time of that big Skelonite. But we're good now. It's interesting that this is one of those, uh, one of those, like, game jam products that turned into a real thing. I, I would love to know the uh, proportion of, like, Game Jam games that were turned into something, like, financially successful on the market. Because, like, I know, uh, what was it? Goat, uh, Goat Simulator was a, was just a, a random laugh. They're like, yeah, let's, let's make this dumb thing. And they did, and it was amazing. All right, attack speed increased by 40%. Woo, boy. All right, so I need lavender, royal clothing. <sighs> okay, so ice cream, wheat, and bottled water. Not really that helpful. Anybody know where to cook meat in this game? I've yet to actually figure out how to cook meat on its own. Cause I know that's I know it's an option. I know it's an option because uh it, it's required for uh one of the cooking recipes to make meat kebabs. Or meat skewers. But I've yet to actually find out any any spot that actually says like, hey, yeah, this is where to cook it. It's a skill to cook meat. Huh. I must have missed it, uh, or never seen it, I don't know. Cause I I got cooking. You'd think that would be the sort of thing that would actually, like, uh, you know, chain into each other, but I guess not. Uh, 
let's see, more sushi or that more steel. So I've got everything that I can get here, really, until we get that amethyst. I can also make royal steel, but yeah, same same general issue. Very expensive. Okay, economic. Vault. Where do I put these? I got tons of this. Time to make a uh, vault island. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's fine. For every bit of damage that I take from these guys, sushi. Okay, let's get back over here. Coal. Select max iron. Select max. That is not a lot of iron ore. Right, so let's let that go. We're getting to automation. Because, yeah, once, once I have the ability to automatically uh, mine metal... Unless I'm mistaken with how that's going to boil boil down, we should be we should be able to just uh, kind of let certain resources just roll in, which will be incredible when that happens. Okay, so we got topaz. Not really that helpful. Also, we left some holes here, which I'm not appreciating as much as I'd like. I wonder what happens if you build a bridge to a, a island and then build the island over it. Oops, kill the cow. Oh well. I'm not as uh, I'm not as committed to uh, grabbing resources from the the cows and the chickens as I probably should be. But there's like there's so many things. Oh 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 boy. Was not paying attention to my energy at all. Inventory continues to be full. Okay, farming fish trap. Out of wood. No, how? I guess I do keep squandering it in various places. The other thing I gotta remember to do is actually to uh, mine up the the flowers regularly. I don't have much of a use for the, the flowers. Right now, oh, that's that's just decoration for his house. Blends in as it looks like every other flower that is not part of his house. Okay. Big farming, uh oh. Gotta eat more sushi, ow. Let me see. Farming fish trap. Still out of wood. All right. Let's grab a bunch of those. Why haven't you made a massive fishing grid of bridges and uh, fishing spots? Because fishing spots are expensive. Everything is expensive in this. I guess part of it is I never got any of the efficiency upgrades, so that's probably not helping my situation. But yeah, next time I do this, I'm definitely making a giant fishing grid. Instead of what I've currently done, which is kind of far from it. 